fun thing about it is that you could actually mix. You can either take fried rice and chicken, you could take fried rice and barfish, you could take fried rice and sinews. Yeah. All right. Or you could take your fried plantains with dodo as we all love it. Mm. Or you could decide to improve the two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just well. mix it. You could just take fried rice, chicken, and a little bit of dole, or you could take fried rice and snails with a little bit of fries. Yeah. Fries is actually a um, fried potato. Hello guys, welcome to Carly's restaurant. I'm humbly called Mr. Falefa Kakaumu for the CEO of Carly's. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome on board. We would love to get your journey from how you began entrepreneurship to where you are presently. Oh, basically, entrepreneurship just got to me like a dream. After going to school in UB, I never thought of being an entrepreneur of it. Looking at how the the Cameroons ferries. And getting to meet friends like Bonte. After working with one or two projects, I decided to get into real time entrepreneurship. I thought that I could start something for myself to see how I could solve a problem. Why do I solve a problem? Um, precisely in Boya, where the restaurant is located, we noticed that students do find it difficult to actually get fast food. So I came up with the idea like, okay, let's have a restaurant that provides fast food deliveries as to meet the needs of the population, which is precisely students. Well, then I came up with the idea, meet up with friends and families, then we started up the business. Actually, the idea came up from my wife, my beautiful wife, Barbara Robinichi. So, we all started, we started here at Manico Junction in a very small, in a very small rented apartment. But as time goes on, we saw the need to expand. And this is Kalis. And Kalis actually comes from my daughter, my first daughter's name is Kalis. For the fact, Kali Adams. So it's, the restaurant is named after her. Let me get back to entrepreneurship. Being an entrepreneur is not actually easy. There are a lot of challenges. So as, as you keep on running the business, you get to understand the various challenges you're gonna face. Then be rest assured, you will face challenges that will get you to the point of saying, okay, I wanna close down, I wanna shut down. Let me just outline some challenges you're gonna face. Yeah. Um, First is the cost of renting the place as if you don't have the money to get your own place. Second is the capital. And third, you need to go to the budgeting. Before you start any entrepreneurship business, you need to have those in mind. Because if you don't take care of the rent and the fixed cost, trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna go down so, so fast. You have to cut out, you have to cut the teeth and dot the eyes. Why do I say cut the teeth and dot the eyes? Once you rent the place, or once you figure out the capital, the budgeting capital, there's always a maximum and a minimum capital. If you don't if you if you don't have a lot of money, you can start with the minimum capital. Then make sure you're solving a problem. Because wow. if you're not solving a problem, then you're not an entrepreneur. Wow. Yeah, you have to solve a problem. Before you could call yourself an entrepreneur. Okay, so basically, how much can you take to start something like this? Basically, like say, I can't, I can't say a stated amount. But currently, Kali's restaurant is worth close to 8 million, maybe oh. 9 million from scratch because we started like from 2018, if I'm not mistaken. But to see the capital to start a business like this, like fast food restaurant, it varies. It depends on your scope. Like I would like to motivate you who don't have cap don't have fixed capital or who don't have friends and family who can support you with financial need. You could actually um, start let's say say with a million francs. You could start from your home if you don't have money to rent a place. 
But if you have if you have enough capital to rent a place, let's say roughly 3.5 million, you could start up a business like that. To get some of the services you offer here at Cali West, where you mentioned food, um, kind of a food kind of delivery store, fast food person. So what are the services you offer here? So at Cali's restaurant, we offer various services. Okay, mm. we offer fast food deliveries. We offer reservations we do reservations for birthdays parties um, reunions meetings you could come with friends and families for like a family reunion dates but what we have regularly it's um it's, it's more it's mostly reserved for birthday celebrations and reunions anniversaries and Meeting, ex students associations. Okay. So everybody, basically, everybody, yeah. everybody is welcome at Cali's. Wow. So basically, what's the cost of maybe booking out the station for a birthday? Like, you want to book out Cali for a birthday? What's the cost? Um, like I said, from the onset, yeah. coming up with this idea of creating a restaurant like Cali's was sort of a problem. Yeah. So for now, let me let the cut of the back. Okay. Yeah. There is no fixed price as to the reservation fee okay. for a birthday party, for reunions, mm -hmm. romantic dates, or meetings. What we do is, you get to us through our number directly, then you set the number of persons coming, they are you're going to make use of the place, then how you want the place to look like, because we customize the restaurant based on how yeah. The you event. want it to be yeah. based on your event. If you want a birthday party for let's say 30 persons, you call us beforehand, you book the place, we say okay for 30 persons it's gonna cost you this. Okay. Alright. Because some many people don't want a loud birthday party, people want private birthday parties. So you could call and say you want just five. So we're gonna arrange we're we're gonna, we're, we're gonna customize the place to suit the five people. Okay? Based on the drinks, you could pay for your drinks differently, you could bring your cakes. If you for a romantic day, we set up a table for two. We, it's a whole package on its own. Yeah. Each has okay. its okay. own package. So how can someone get to you in case someone needs your service? How can they get to you? We have um, various social media platforms which can get to us. You can follow us on Facebook, um, Carlis Restaurant, you can follow us on Instagram which is Carly's Restaurant as well. You could also call us via WhatsApp or direct call. But you know, due to the connection in Cameroon, I prefer you call directly. Okay, you could call 678-666-944 or you could call 678-60-7342. Either of these numbers you can get to me directly or you can get to the accountant, all right? So we could book book the place for you okay what are some of the meals you guys offer here like you spoke about fast food and do you guys do home delivery as well yes we do home delivery as well but as for the food we offer we, we offer different type of dishes okay. okay for desserts let me start with desserts for the desserts we have on um, pizza we have um kayaga which is freshly made we have ice cream, which is also freshly made. It's not made and kept from the fridge, but it's made once you order, it's available. Let's say 20 minutes, your okay, you got this available for you fresh. We also give, um, we have burger, hamburgers, we give taco, tacos, mostly the white on the standard, but we do pizzas, okay, you got ice cream, those are for the desserts. Then for the meals, we do African meals. But just two for the moment. We have um, fried rice and snails. We have um, dole. Fried rice and we have fried rice and snails. We have dole. Fried plantains and dole. We have grilled chicken. We have fries and grilled chicken. Or if you have fries and bar fish, we have um, poulet de jay. Wow, the list is just so long. It's so long. Wow. But now, the thing is, the fun thing about it is that you could actually mix. You can either take fried rice and chicken, you could take fried rice and barfish, you could take fried rice and sinews, 
yeah. all right or you could take your fried plantains with dodo as we all love it mm. or you could decide to employ the two you just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just well. mix it you could just take fried rice chicken and a little bit of dove or you could take fried rice and snails with a little bit of fries yeah fries is actually um fried potatoes okay all right well. So, um, before we go to our two last questions, we'd love you to beg your customers or family, I don't know how you call them, to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright. Dear Kali's regular customers, I call them Kali's foodies. Thanks for watching this program. Like I said before, I'm here to actually solve a problem. So, take time. If you love the content, please subscribe to this channel. Make sure you click the subscribe button, click the like button, and, and as well, you could share with your friends and families. Okay, Carlis is here for you. All right, anytime we are just service. Okay, sir, so two last questions. We'd love to give a shout out to some persons who help you throughout your journey. Like you mentioned, some guy, one guy's name, and the person I remember was your wife, and that person your wife, too. You have a shout out to three persons who help you out. All right. It's a very long list. I wow. can actually appreciate just one person, but I will try to make them this a little bit shorter. Um, the first appreciation goes to my beautiful wife, Ovenichi Barbara, who has stood by me all this while from like four years now. Thank God for blessing with such a beautiful wife. Second, the second application goes to a friend of mine called Mayo. He's a sweet right away. He actually helped me take and team for us to go to Duala, get the things, the chairs, in fact, with the logistics. And as for the technical part of it, I give thanks to Bonte, Bonke Engelbert, the CEO of Bonte Media Network. I work with so, that's basically Okay, sir, to the last question, a word to any person out there who loves to get into this field of entrepreneurship and maybe it's in a dilemma whether to just go get a job or to get into entrepreneurship. So, it's a quite tricky question there. Wow. Um, there are two things. It depends on your personal, your personality. If you think or you see that you are capable of solving a problem or by the first identifying a problem second solving it and you have that that drive then I'll advise you to turn towards entrepreneurship I wouldn't advise you to, to turn to the part of being a job seeker or getting every very early in the morning to go out for work and you get you get back at home by say four o'clock because it's not gonna help you. You're not solving any problem. So like I said before, if you can identify a problem, at the same time you could solve the problem, then I would say despite the fact that you don't have money, you don't have friends or family to support you, just the positive drive to solve that problem and the joy it gives when the problem is being solved. Then I'll advise you to go towards entrepreneurship. I won't advise the young people of Cameroon to seek for jobs because trust me, the pay package is actually low and the economy keeps getting worse. So for you to actually meet your basic needs, I don't think going for a job. Which is no job in Cameroon, by the way. <laughs> we, we all know how it goes. Alright, so wow. I'm 100% behind all the youths of Cameroon to see how they can open their own business, be their own boss. But like, I appreciate I appreciate the Zillion here for everything he's doing. It's not actually easy to see a young person following up on me. Just things. You have a positive, positive energy. Just keep up the good work, and see you like five years from now. Let's see how it goes.
thank you so much oh thank you so much sir okay guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed it consider hitting the subscribe button why not like it and share see you in the next one peace out